Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have a smartwatch from AOO. I think that's how you pronounce it. So what makes this device unique, it's only $29 on Amazon. It has two years of standby time, so you don't have to recharge it, you don't have to replace the battery. Only every two years do you have to do that. It also does a lot of activity tracking and notifications similar to a Garmin watch like this. So let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. It comes in a nice cardboard box. I like that because you can recycle it. So on top here, looks like we have some marketing material. Then we have an operation guide, which will be very important for getting it set up and understanding everything that it does. Then we have the watch right here. So as you can see, this is the stainless steel version, and it's actually a little bit more expensive than the other versions. Those are around 26, so you're really getting a good deal here. As you can see, the band is all this like woven stainless steel. So I'm sure that that makes it somewhat comfortable because it kind of bends to your arm. And then on the back we have stainless as well, which is nice. You do have four buttons, two on each side. And as you can see, the screen's right here, and this is where it shows the time and steps and notifications, things like that. Nothing else in the box. So I currently wear a Garmin Forerunner 230, and these are priced around 150 to 175. So I'll be comparing some of the features of this watch with my Garmin. So just so we can have a comparison of the features and activity tracking of the AOO. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just turn the watch on by long holding the button down here and the button right here. Alright, we can see that it turned on. So as you can see, there's the watch face. It is digital. Looks like we have the date and some time right here, a bunch of notifications. So as you can see, that's the Bluetooth symbol right there, and it's blinking. That means that it's currently on. Okay, so the watch is on. I have it on my arm and now I'm going to install the app. On the back of the operations guide they have the QR codes that you can scan for the different location or OS that you're on. They don't give you the name of the app which was kind of annoying because I didn't have a QR scanner on my phone so I got one downloaded and found the app and it's just Sports Plus. It only has a rating of 3.9 out of a thousand downloads so it makes me a little nervous to download it and install it just because it does have a lot of permissions. So we'll go ahead and get it installed and see what happens. So before buying this device it's important to see the permissions that are needed and most of these do seem valid for what the watch actually does but things like device and app history or identity those kind of things just make me a little nervous as well as the microphone not sure why my watch would need my microphone but I'll go ahead and accept and we'll see what happens. So all you need to do is make sure that your watch is blinking the Bluetooth emblem then go into the app go into the settings up here device management and then we'll tell it to search. We found X-Watch right here. Then it's going to connect the device to your phone. Then we'll just select X-Watch again. It's going to install it. And as you can see, the Bluetooth emblem right there has stopped blinking. So we're good to go. Also one cool thing to note, the time has synced up with what it is right now. And I can go through, it seems to have the same date. And now it's ready to track steps and an alarm, everything like that. Now that I have it set up, I'm just going to wear it for a while and we'll see how I like it. Alright, so after having had some time to use this watch, I have to say that it, for 29 bucks, it actually impresses me in many ways. First, the look and the comfort. I was surprised that this band was actually pretty comfortable and it's very easy to adjust and attach to your wrist. I found that I could take it off very easily and put it on and I had no discomfort from the metal on my wrist, which was a surprise. Alright, let's get on to the usability. The face of this watch is pretty easy to read and it can show a ton of different information. Just by hitting this button right here, we can select and go through, see the calendar, we can see the steps for the day, we can see how many calories you've burned, you can see how far in kilometers you've walked, and then you get into like alarm clock and also a stopwatch. You can time laps, things like that. So from an activities tracker, it does give you some good information such as steps and calories burned, calories estimated to be burned, and also distance. From a smartwatch perspective, it does work somewhat, but it's not as it's not as in depth as something like my Garmin. So when I get a text message, it's just going to beep a couple times on my watch, letting me know that my phone has received a text message. There's no way to read that text message or see who it's from, which is fine on something for 29 bucks. It's too easy to be expected. It's cool that you get the notification though. Taking pictures with the watch, I was never really able to get that to work. I tried it a couple times and I just could not get it to actually take a picture by pressing the buttons. Pairing of the watch was very, very easy. You don't do anything in the Bluetooth setting, it's all through the watch app on your phone. So in the app, you simply just find the watch, and once you connect it, you're good to go. I like that. Very, very simple. I think a lot of people could use this. So we're inside the app right now, and it is actually pretty cool. It does have daily tracker, you can see on a week, and then you can also see on a month. As you can see, I have one day where I wore it and got over 5,000 steps, and then the next day, not so much. 
So really that's going to be it from activity tracking standpoint. In the settings we can go into device management, make sure we have the right device connected, and then you can go into caution, and that's where you set up the alarm for the watch as well as which notifications will trigger a notification on the watch. So if you get like a Twitter reminder, you can have it work, or a message, call, things like that will trigger the notifications on the watch. You can also go into settings and set up your step target, and also if you want to use kilometers or miles. Then in the background settings, this is really just the background for the app, so this screen right here, you can select a different image. And then in here you can take a picture, and like I said, I did not find that very useful. One thing I did notice that I think is worth noting, in the sun it can be very hard to read this screen. Sometimes it will look like, you know, like a 1 looks like a 7, just because the light seems to make the digital face seem like it's showing a different number than it is. And that's really the only issue I had with the display. One thing I did like was if the watch is disconnected from the phone, say you walk out of the room or something, you get too far away from it, the Bluetooth emblem in the top left will blink a little bit so that you can actually see, hey, if I get a message, I'm not going to be notified on my watch, which is good to know. That's a good thing to know. It also does have a little night light. You can hit the button. You can see it much better at night, and it actually does display the watch face very clearly. It's a very quick light. It might stay in for about two seconds, but, that's, but I think that's good because it preserves battery life. You do get two years of standby time with this watch, which is very good. One more thing I'd like to point out, as soon as you sync this watch with your phone, everything from like a calendar, time, that kind of stuff, automatically syncs with the location that's on your watch. So there's no like programming of the time or the date in this watch. It does it automatically if you're connected to the app and the phone. Overall with this watch for $29, I would say it's a buy. If you're looking to get your first smartwatch or looking to get somebody a very simple, easy to use smartwatch, for $29 the features are actually pretty surprising. So that was the X-Series smartwatch from AOO. If you have any questions about this device, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm gonna add an affiliate link to the description so you can find this exact device on Amazon. So check that out. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.